Hey everyone, look, it's Delta 2025 of Detroit, a 767-400 full of bait. Yeah, on this rainy Tuesday morning, coming to you live in 4K. That's right, 4K. Quad K. We had to get a new camera after our previous two adventures soaked the Sony Cybershot to the point that it didn't want to work anymore. So, we're now operating with a Panasonic Lumix of some kind. I don't know the model number. All I know is it's 4K. Can you see it in 4K, folks? Is it 4K to you? Ladies and gentlemen, this may appear to be a random act of general aviation, but I assure you it is not. It is a government aircraft. U.S. Customs Border Patrol King Air 350. It's got all sorts of fairings and weird stuff. Look at that. Just wait for it to pass the tree. Look at that. Cool. Customs and Border Patrol. Look at those fairings. Oh, nice. Damn it, too many trees in the way. Wow, that's specially modified. Look at that, King Air 350, brought to you by Customs and Border Patrol. Very fancy. See ya. Well, here's one we've never seen before. Korean Airlines. Zero, zero, three, six, heavy on to take it. Runway nine or left. Take off. Is he wearing a mask? Take I wear a mask in the cockpit? That sucks. Korean Air Rides. Like 36 heavy came in the form of a Dreamliner today. 779 Dreamliner. Something we've never seen out of the Koreans. We've seen the Koreans in their 777-300, their 8380, and their 748, now a 789. Picking up a ton of takeoff spray, as no one has taken off full length all day. Korean Airlines is going to get lost behind the obstructions in the wall of view. We are subterranean in order to avoid rain on the new camera. That's how we lost the old camera. Rain killed it. Mustn't have that happen a second time, at least this year. I like to go through a camera every year and a half. Korean Airlines still going long. We're going to lose it right here. Ah, look what lies beneath. The DC-7 is finally receiving its coat of paint, as you can see. It looks white. Oh, very nice. Love it. Look at you can even see paint on the wings. I think they're covered by a plastic cover. Oh, that's great news. DC-7 is being painted finally after a whole summer of sitting idle. Look, everyone, look. It's a KLM 621. Everybody's favorite little Dutch boy. A little Dutch boy. I'm not doing well with my camera work. And this new camera makes panning very hard. Why can't I pan? Why am I doing it in a stair-step fashion? Guess just back it out. You guys don't need to see it that tightly, do you? This is okay, right? Expose a test while the rain is coming down. Got some rain. This is the 100th year of KLM Dutch Boy. 2020. Here it is. I can't pan! God damn it! I hate it! Expose your test and the rain is coming down! United! Full blown United! It's not United Continental at all because they decided to get their own livery, their own unique livery. They're not borrowing Continental's livery, no. They got their own. I've never seen it on a 737 before. I've only seen it on the A319 and the E-Jet. Fantastic! It looks great! Clouds are beginning to roll in here as... Is it Tropical Storm Laura or Depression Laura or whatever Laura is spitting some moisture my way. That is a private Embraer. Sorry for the shakies, I just got done hauling ass up here. With my pals Richard and David, who you'll meet in just a minute. Oh yeah. And from Brussels. Richard and David. 
There we go. That's the E-Jet. Handsome. All the way from Brussels on board this E-Jet. A lineage or lineage. 1,000 lineage. Oh, that's it's police. Probably yeah, yeah, it's probably Customs and Border Patrol. They are armed. I don't know, what do you call that? Buzz cut? Hey! <laughs> Richard! <laughs> that's that's good YouTube fodder right there. Now let's get ABIX. Oh, I think it's a sperm wagon ABIX. It is. Oh wait, hang on. No, it's got stuff. It looks spermy for a minute. Very nice. Did that bounce? Is that a bounce right there? Jeez. Well, there's something like a 767-200, especially when it's got the black under eye. Hey, Bix, welcome to Atlanta, and Eva's gonna leave. Eva 667 is headed to kicks, just like the cereal. It's actually Osaka. You're anticipating a long roll. Oh, it's off to a good start. Ah, oh, it's not as nice as I was hoping. Come on, pan it right. Do the pan correctly. Still a good shot past the middle finger. Tripod into whack. Korean Airlines bringing a 789 Dreamliner in the form of Korean 8035. Charlie Mike, I believe. I could be mistaken. Cargo aircraft management or cargo management aircraft. This is going to be the next Brown 767. For now, it's got a jumbled up paint job. It includes its cargo door. At least, damn, that's not even. Four Charlie Mike, two six flight affirmative, clear to land. Thank you. Four Charlie Mike, you're clear to land. See, look at this thing. What is that? Three and thirty-five heavy. Sorry for the shaky. Just as you pass Fox Strat, you'll see the first set of zipper lines, the black and yellow zipper lines. I want you to continue across that one, and then you're going to stop at the next set of zipper lines. Korean Airlines is struggling with the zipper lines. We have a tree that we're going to have to deal with, and then we can capture the special guest. Look at that. Wowzers! Brown is going to be very lucky to get this. Maybe they'll keep it in this livery, if you even want to call it a livery. Wow. How special. It's a shame we have to go back to work now, but it was worth coming out here to get that. Current local time, 7.45 a.m. And yes, it's FedEx feeder. Oh, I love the feeder. I love the grand, grand caravan and everything it stands for. FedEx feeder is going to depart almost instantaneously. That word. Here we go. Word it up. Word it up. Full. It's not full yet, is it? Maybe it is FedEx Feeder. What a joy. One of the splendors of Hartsfield Jackson in the morning. Who is he talking to? It could be another theater. Okay, well, another Fed 767-300 non-dubs. Already been given permission to take off. Let's see if we can get a rocket ship. 
hockey chip rotation and climb out, please. Okay, right about here is where we're going to need it now. Looks like you are heavier. The rocket ship. Oh yeah, definitely a lot heavier than I was hoping. Heading back to Mother it's apparently full. Sun is here, everyone. Sun Hooray for the sun I'm going to have to bleep myself. No one likes the C word, at least not here in this country. Get away with it in Europe quite easily. Our pals at JetTip.net refer to this as the Tide Pod livery for our sun. I've only seen the old, you know, semi southwest livery. You know, the one, the blue one, with the orange. Well, this is a little bit different, and it's quite breathtaking if I do say so myself. Look at that sun. Yeah, see, Tide Pod. Son, thank you so much for visiting Fort Lauderdale. I hope you enjoy Signature. It's a whole new operation over there. Oh, uh, yes, finally, we got some color on it. Morning sunlight, bathing the sun. Wow, never seen that before. Bipolar. We call her and DHL, but we call ourselves a giant. 767 on the cargo. And there's the DHL. Now you can truly see how bipolar it is. And the first quad hole of the morning belongs to Ace Belgium or Challenge Accepted or CAL cargo. I really don't know what the true name of this operator is. Soon you will be able to see a splendid liquid. This is not like the other challenge accepted where there are just challenge titles. This has a little blue swooshy thing on the tail, see? Isn't that fantastic? A Boeing Converted Freighter, or BCF, otherwise known as Breast Enhancements, because it has the big top. That way the crew can play ping pong during their long haul flights. Entering the obstruction zone and making a perfect, perfect final approach for runway 27 left. Thank you, Challenge, or Cal, or ICL, or Ace Belgium. Bitey the Tiger Shark! Oh man, I haven't seen Bitey in probably a couple of years. This represents the last and actually the only Frontier aircraft with the Fry Fr FlyFrontier.com titles on it. I'm sure this won't be around very much longer. We're sorry, Bitey. Bitey the Tiger Shark is my favorite animal. It's certainly my favorite animal. Let's just try to keep it on bitey. Okay, wait, you know, uh, if we do that, we might screw the whole clip up, so we'll just focus on the whole airplane in general. You know, bitey's on board. This is off to Denver. Tiger sharks are way out of place in Denver, the Mile High City. Someone is doing business on a Saturday, on a Labor Day weekend, no, no less. Oh, well, I hope this is a pleasure trip for whomever owns this aircraft or whoever is leasing it or renting it or just using it. Uh, it's a lot like an Embraer Phenom livery, but at least we can celebrate the acquisition of a biz jet on today's adventure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cat vomit brown! All the passengers on board should be very thankful. Very thankful. They get to ride on CBB, Cat Vomit Brown. I don't know where it's going. It surprised me. I didn't even realize it was here. I probably already knew that based on the reaction that I had when I spotted it. My goodness, CBB, thank you very much for your visit. 
Labor Day weekend, Saturday morn. Ooh, rolling long. Must be destined for a destination farther away than the usual Greenville Spartanburg. We're always excited to receive a new type of equipment from one of our favorite international carriers. Korean Airlines brought Atlanta the 300 A380 7478 lowercase i then back to the 777-300 and now we appear to have settled on a 7879 Dreamliner. That's something. It must be more efficient. Probably ridiculously more efficient than the A380. I can't imagine that was a very lucrative route, but I digress. Welcome to Atlanta, Korean Airlines. Yeah, son is headed back to Florida. MCO or Orlando. Son is a rarity here at Hartsfield Jackson Land International. I probably emphasized that point when we filmed its arrival, so I don't want to bore you with yet another hammering home of the point. Instead, just watch Sun or Sun Country. I can't resist, I'm sorry. Thank you. What a morning surprise. Yeah, really. Uh-oh. Well, that's not a good radio check. Uh-oh, this thing is coming. Good look, good look above the big top. How can you not? Pretty short flight for Asiana. Ooh, screaming engine. Nice, like that. More screaming. Oh, yeah. Made it. There's a JFK bound 763 for you. And say bye bye to us, yeah. I'm coming to you live from the hill. That's right, the hill. The shooting position that we occupied pre-pandemic during the winter months in order to get front lit shots of arrivals on runway nine or right. I came to check up on the hill and found that the overgrowth is jaw dropping. Weeds that are taller than me now occupy this hill. It is not really even a place that we can use. You'll see soon what I'm talking about. But right now enjoy the A330-200 while we still have a shot of it. sorts of insects are up here. I'm very glad I'm wearing long pants. Probably a big tick threat. A330-200. Oh, nice. And get ready for the growth. <laughs> Bam. See, the is taller than me. Like, really. When we used to occupy the hill here, we would occupy right over there but it's so overgrown, I can't even get over there. The south deck no longer offers front-lit beauties. The season of backlittery is back. So that is why the hill is such a valuable position. We come here to get our front-lit fix. Gonna have to fix the weeds though, because this is not really doable. Not really doable at all. Let's pick up the tripod. Look at the okay, let's see if the Forbidden Hill is any better. Since where we are, we just went through that hole in the fence right there. 
I've got to walk around to the far side of this hill in the hopes of finding something better to shoot from. It's hot today, very, very hot. I see a bird of prey. Damn, what is that? Is that a hawk? Let's look at it. Where did he go? Down here. Focus. As you can see, there's a lot of overgrowth here as well. Let's go on the five pot adventure. See how close I can get to the threshold up here. God damn, I can't believe all this stuff has grown in such a short duration. I saw coyote prints all the way up here. Oh yeah, that's too tall. You'll see, we have a much better vantage point here on this hill than we did on the other. We will still encounter some overgrowth. It's nowhere near as obnoxious. Damn, making a lot of noise. 764 parallel. Oh. And that's about where we lose it. Let's focus on Korean Airlines. Look at this. Korean Airlines. You know, anyway, 7478. Lowercase I. Cargo variant. Oh, yeah. Damn. Guy, how great this spot is. It's right here. I'm just going to use this to flush out everything. Ah. Here we go. Jesus. All right. This is usually a very short roller. Don't mind those little obstructions. We're going to pass an A350 belonging to Hometown Airline, probably bound for Paris or Amsterdam. And in even more exciting news, Dynasty is about to taxi past. Okay, this is where we kind of hit the obstructions. ATI is nest in that, but look, Dynasty. Oh, 757-200 and Delta 82 Heavy off to Paris. Received its clearance. It's very nice, very nice lighting here. Definitely front lit. I'm sorry I have to move my tripod. Bear with me, bear with me. Oh boy, we're just gonna lose that entirely, I think. I wonder who's on the south deck. Let's take a look. Let's see if anybody. Oh, there's a pair of spotters. I wonder who that is. There's a spotter. Oh, there's a lot of spotters on the south deck. Look at that. Look at everyone. Very nice. Throttle all the way up, Dynasty. See, it's front lit here. And back lit on the south deck again. You really only get maybe two good months of front lit action. Why is my phone ringing? That's a different subject altogether. Don't mind the blowing overgrowth. Basically like hedgerows almost. We're in the bocage. We've got two English Dreamliners on the ground in Atlanta right now. Since that Dreamliner is dreamy. Textbook. Textbook landing. We're going to pick the tripod up so we can watch the thrust of this spoil. Don't mess with Texas. Give them 
their permission, please. We got places to go and people to see. Jacksonville, Florida awaits Lone Star One. Here we go. I am tripod, listen to human tripod. The stars at night are big and bright. Clap, 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 clap. Deep in the heart of Texas. Oh, sorry about the bushel. There we go. Three of the bushel for a moment. Get up, get up, get busy. Get up and move that lone star body. There we go. Losing light with a quickness, but we had a chance to capture the Turks and their passengers. Turkish 31 Heavy arriving at just before sunset out of Istanbul, Constantinople. Istanbul, Constantinople. The Koreans are leaving us. It was such a brilliant surprise to have them in the first place. We caught them from the hill over yonder. And now we catch them from our south part of the day. Yeah, man. Nice abrupt roar. Hurtling down the runway after the sun has set. We have a little bit of light to work with, just a little bit. Enough to catch the Koreans and then we call it a day. But hey, we have tomorrow off because it's Labor Day. As in, we don't have to labor. Like rolling, rolling, keep those doggies rolling. And my ass is swollen, rawhide. I'm sorry, that song probably wasn't relevant. It's Labor Day from the Hill. Happy Labor Day to all of you and yours, whatever that means. Apparently scanning the south deck for spotters. There's some spotters there. I think I've identified three spotters this far. We're kind of in a dead time, so it doesn't surprise me. Sky Team Honor Brigade off to Norfolk, Virginia. Look at Sky Team go, bringing honor and safety to all those whose airspace it graces. But more importantly, on our north side, a C-40. Not appearing on Flight Radar 24, but it was appearing on ADSB Exchange. Unfortunately, we're going to have to try to catch it from about as far away as a man can catch it here at the hill or hills. And good C40, surely going to the TOC ramp. Probably a test flight. C40 is about to sink into our lovely canopy. Delta 444 Heavy has been cleared Arnav to Lytus. Its ultimate destination is John Fitzgerald Kennedy International Airport in New York. Isn't that amazing? New York is receiving 767-300 dub service. All right, we're going to enter the bushel, so to speak. It's getting up quick, thank goodness. 7330, 25 heavy. R&F2 grits, we're now up to Mike 2, close to There we go. R&F2 grits. Clear for takeoff. R&F2 grits. That is exciting. Who wouldn't love grits? All right, attack zone. A3, 3200. We suspect this is a cargo flight because of the 33 flight number. Uh-oh, watch out, sorry. I can't help that. I don't have a weed whacker or machete. I need to come out here with one. Wait, for departure on that grip. And, uh, of course, take off Delta. R3, 
Turn up to grit, Delta 27 Heavy is an A359 under XWB headed to Seoul, South Korea. It shows the full length option. First full length we've seen today. Oh, sh I don't know if you can see me. Oh god. I better go high for a minute. Let's get this thing to go high. It's obviously going to roll very long. Very long there. Giants off to Anchorage. What a beaut. This is not something we see on a regular basis. Provide you with some temporary amusements. Here's a 717. Very short final. Floating, 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 and tough. Grit. Lucky. On out to Grit. Nine left, clear for takeoff. Giant 2478 heavy. Giant 2478 heavy will be the feather in our cap on this day, that's for sure. Oh yes, roaring loudly, 747-400 freighter variant. I suspect it will roll long. Hey, the Koreans. Oh, there we go, getting up, getting up, getting up pretty quick. Hell yeah, giant. The Koreans and their passengers and their Dreamliner are about to begin their magnificent journey to Seoul. Korean Airlines 36 Heavy is slow to get started building the suspense. Really building the suspense. At some point we're going to go full throttle. There, thank you. Hey, the Louisianans. Korean Airlines passing our lovely canopy. Now it builds up some speed. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get up before we encounter the bushel. Oh, there's some bushel there. Korean Airlines, had you not yeah, gone so slow at the beginning of your throttle up. Powered up at 995 Bertie. Southwest 1933, Louisiana, off to LaGuardia. Louisiana is going to LaGuardia. Thank you very much for gracing my south side. And look! 717 wanted to get in on the action. And the American Airlines 737 wanted to get in on the action. But this is all about Louisiana to LaGuardia. The rotating hotel. Damn bug. A lot of bugs probably getting eaten alive out here, but at least we got Louisiana.